Hi guys, uh, Tony Whitehead here. Um, I'd like to introduce myself, my family, uh, Parnia Whitehead, married 33 years. We have two kids, uh, Christian, uh, 28, Chandler, 25. Chandler uh, has Down syndrome, a tremendous blessing that not only us, but everyone he, he comes in contact with. He, he's just been a tremendous blessing in our life. Uh, not that our other son isn't, but, but he's just something special. Um, so, I, you know, George asked me if I would put a short video together, and I'm excited to do it uh, for many reasons. Uh, first of all, I believe in FCA wholeheartedly. Uh, I was on the board uh, 25 years ago in, Char in the Chesapeake area, uh, and I was on the board with Mickey Toll. Mickey introduced me to George when we moved over to Charlottesville, and um, George and I met. Uh, I loved his vision. I loved what he wanted to do, uh, not only at UVA, but in the community. Uh, we sat down. Uh, he picked my brain about a few things. I'm a, I'm a business owner. I uh, own several businesses, uh, but we talked, uh, and we refined his vision a little bit more. I challenged George uh, also that day, and he met the challenge. Uh, and so, and continues to meet the challenge uh, of, you know, this is difficult because what I would say, even the pandemic that we're going through right now, it's difficult for competitors, people that compete on a, on a continuous level, you know, continuous day-to-day -day competition to ask for help in anything. It's really hard for men to ask for help. And really that's where he's at. He needs help, Right. And I would say, I was, I was reading a book by Wayne Baker, uh, University of Michigan Roth School of Business. He wrote a book, and the book says, all you have to do is ask. You know, and, and the main point of that book is we struggle to ask for help, but underestimate how willing people are to help us. And if you just look at your life, how willing you are to help others, it wouldn't be so difficult for us to ask for help. You know, I'm proud of you, George, for, you know, approaching me and approaching other people. It doesn't matter if there's a pandemic or not. This is the time where we could do the most good for the kingdom. People are, are hurting. People are losing things. What can be shaken will be shaken, right? Things are being shaken right now. Our faith cannot be one of those things that are shaken. Our ability to be able to reach out. Maybe you can't knock on that door. Maybe you can't talk to that student athlete. Maybe you uh, aren't, aren't the one to do that. But you know what? I know who is, and that's George and his staff. Uh, I've seen incredible things. We really vet everything we, everywhere we give and what we do, we vet it very well. And uh, I'm, I'm proud to say I'm a, I'm a partner of George's and will continue to be a partner of his through FCA an incredible organization, and there's never been a better time to give. I challenge all of us, myself included, to continue to give. Uh, I know that there's, uh, there, the, when things get tough, sometimes your giving is the first thing that you get rid of. It should be the last. If you think about it, it should be the last. If the kingdom is the most important thing and people's eternal life is the most important thing to you and to I, then you know what? That should be the last thing we stop giving. Maybe we need to reduce or, or do those things, but we should never cut that off. So, uh, George, it's, it's, you know, I'm going to continue to pray for your ministry. We're going to continue as a family to give. Uh, I encourage everyone else to do the same. And the one thing that I love about George's organization and, and FCA and the way he runs it is I get continual feedback. I don't have to ask George each week, hey, what are you doing? Where's the money going? I get a report. I get, a, I get a, a text message, you know, not only just what they're doing, but, hey, brother, what can I do to pray for you this week? How's your family? How's Chandler? How's, you know, it's our family by name. He comes and he visits. Uh, he and his wife come and visit us in, in Florida. Uh, so not only are we friends and become friends through a fellowship of Christian athletes, I believe in everything he's doing, and I trust that every penny that is given to that organization is done and followed up and accounted for in the right way. So George, I'm gonna say thanks to you. Continue to ask, don't be afraid to ask. Whether there's a pandemic, 
no matter what's going on, you continue to ask for the what you need to run this ministry. That's what the Lord would want you to do. Thank you, guys, and uh, it, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to partner with you, George.